Well, it was just as chaotic as we expected it to be, and it was packed with quite a crush of media in here. And you know what? We did talk to one candidate and a number of surrogates tonight who all claim victories in tonight's debate. This is the traditional post-debate meeting of the minds. It's a crush of cameras and candidates and surrogates and politicians. The mashup of media trying to get to all of these people is always, well, ridiculous. I mean, this group of media types carries their own ladders to outclimb each other, if that's what it takes to see and hear their subjects. And believe me, every one of them has something to say. I think Bernie Sanders has uh, really hit on a He's really caught the pulse of the American people about where the country wants to go. From his opening statement tonight, it wasn't about him or his resume. It was about the crisis this country faces and what we have to do to address it and how he's going to do it. I thought Hillary did very well. She showed herself to stand up for her beliefs. She, she talked about standing her ground and yet being able to bring people together. And uh, I thought she came out in the forefront in terms of the issues. She's a progressive, but she wants to get something done. I think governors have an experience and an executive discipline that uh, is well suited for the White House. But Hillary Clinton made it clear she's a progressive who can get things done. You have to have that combination, being progressive on the issues, but being practical about making it happen. I was very proud of all of the Democrats. They didn't necessarily agree about how to get to the answers on many of the issues, but they agreed on the issues. This is not the two-minute warning. This is the opening kickoff. And for the first time tonight, people see they have a choice. Now, uh, Martin, uh, Martin, oh, uh, Martin O'Malley is actually right about that. There are five more debates scheduled for the Democrats. The next one will be November 14th, and it'll be held in Iowa. Covering campaign 2016 live in Las Vegas, Aaron Breen, Channel 2 News.